What's up guys? Alright, today I am here to show you a video how to print your very own mini acoustic guitar. Fully playable. I just put the strings on. I haven't um, tuned it yet, but just printed it, put the tuners on and the strings on. Now I'm going to show you guys how to make this. Alright, first off, obviously you're going to want to get your printer ready. Well, I have a Zelda case in there, but you know, um, glue your bed or whatever printer you have, you know, put your captain tape on, whatever. And then you're going to want to go to Thingiverse. I downloaded this drawing, I saw it on the featured page uh, from here, let me see. It's still there. Guitar. And there it is, it's like one right there. That looks pretty cool too, but this is the one I made. All right, so you're gonna go to this guy, Solsty. Gotta give him all the credit for designing this. Um, here's the little video, I've been playing it. So you can check that out. Here's what it's gonna sound like. Hello, this is my 3D printed guitar. Uh, the whole thing is 3D printed, including the body and the neck. Um, the strings and the guitar tuning machines are the only thing that's not 3D printed. The uh, whole guitar ends up costing you less than $30, and each uh, of the pieces uh, print without supports, and this is what it sounds like. So yeah, that's it. That's, uh, that's his guitar. That's what we're gonna be making. So click um, click download this thing. It'll bring you to these. You're gonna want to download all these files. Now, if you have a printer big enough to print it in like one piece, he has the um, full uh, piece. Like there's the full body and there's the full neck with the top of the guitar. I also like that that I did um, did them separately because I could do the top of the neck a different color. And I just glued them together. Here, there it is. Start with the body. Um, everything's to scale. You don't have to change anything. I did mine actually kind of a thicker infill, and I didn't really like it as much, honestly, because it, it did crack just a little bit while printing. So my advice would be to keep it around 20%. I did the first one on 50%, and it, and it was just too much. It took forever. It's a lot of plastic. It it cracked a bit. Keep it at 20. Try 20. Um, you don't need any supports for any of these pieces. And they just print out just fine. Now they take a while to print, so I'm not going to show all the footage of them printing. But I did want to say one thing about the neck. Um, this neck right here, it's too big for my printer and probably most printers. So what I did is I... Um, I downloaded Slicer, and most people that 3D print use this anyways, but uh, this program right here. I cut it into two pieces, and it basically just turned into uh, that. So I sliced it, cut it into two pieces, and when I glued them together it was fine. You just have to make sure it's real precise, because obviously that's really important to uh, keep precise. So once you got all your pieces printed, let me show you the tips that I found out doing this that were really helpful because there's a lot of things you can do wrong. <laughs> Let me say that. Alright, so I actually printed mine in green filament, but because of the cracks I had to fill in them with putty. And then I, because it was putty, I had some red Plasti Dip, and so I just red Plasti Dip the whole thing. Now, I don't really recommend it because, I mean you can still see some of the little cracks. And most of them are just from where, you know, I had to glue the pieces together. but. Some more significant cracks from just calibration being off. It won't hinder it too much, but um, it just doesn't look as nice. So, you know, really work on uh, getting a nice print that doesn't crack. The neck printed perfectly, honestly, it's perfect. No cracks or anything, uh, just the splits where I had to glue it. Um, I tried this fix all glue at first, and it did not work at all. Um, Fix all adhesive super glue. It wasn't really great. Um, but I went to Home Depot and got this plastic bonder. 
and it was it's amazing. Literally, you just um, you make sure the surface is dry. Wipe down one side with this. Um, it's like a marker, and you just you know mark down one side to side to prime it, and then uh, just glue it on. Just glue on one side. You want to wait 60 seconds in between those, but beside the point. Get your object together after all the pieces are printed. See them together. Um, easiest way to get the neck nice and straight is to flip it upside down while it's drying so that all the frets are the same height. Uh, that's really important because you don't want the strings to buzz, obviously. Um, and then for the tuners, that's really the only part you have to buy, the tuners and the strings. And um, I just got one on Amazon and I bought some cheap tuners. I think it was like $8. And then for strings, I got these Martin uh, Classic Guitar Strings. Now they were silver plated. The, the um, EAD strings are silver plated. And it's very light, so I was worried that if they were too um, metallic-y, they would, you know, mess with the frets since the frets are plastic and the nuts plastic. And so you get some soft strings. Um, I think these will work fine. Oh, make sure the strings also have balls at the end uh, and not loops so that you can um, connect them to the guitar, obviously. I think it looks pretty good. I'm happy with how it turned out for the most part. Uh, so let's tune it up and see how it sounds.